How's it going guys? So after many years and many many comments from you guys, time's finally come. I've finally gotten myself a little snake. And uh, I've started with one of the coolest snakes you can ever get in Australia. You know, one of the biggest, baddest animals you could ever start with. So uh, if we have a look here at my new little addition. It's a one and a half year old, beautiful pygmy python. <laughs> and what a gorgeous little snake. These guys are so nice and placid. And how cool is that? So there you have it guys, I've got a little pygmy python. I've always had a little soft spot for this species. I thought they'd always the coolest Antaresia. And um, yeah, this is the smallest species of python in the world. She's gonna get a bit bigger than this. Um, it's not fully grown yet. I think she's about 45 centimeters. These guys can get up around 60 centimeters. But uh, you can see those rusty red colors she has. Hopefully the camera picks it up decently. Um, they can get even redder than this one, but this is still a nice, beautiful little snake. And yeah, I absolutely love their coloration. These guys come from Western Australia only, up in the uh, the Pilbara there. So those red colors really blend right in. And yeah, she's just beautiful. So yeah, one day maybe I'll find a little male for her to hang out with and uh, we'll try and breed them. But yeah, what a cool little snake, a little pygmy python. So for now, while we're doing a bit of a quarantine period, I'm just gonna be setting her up in this little tub here. Um, it is plenty of space for her, she's only a small python. Yeah, she's got some basic ventilation, basic uh, hide and water bowl. Yeah, nice and simple for her until uh, she's past that quarantine time. We can do something a bit more extravagant for her. There she goes. So yeah, plenty of space in there for her right now. Pythons do like those sort of smaller, tighter spaces. But one day soon I'm going to make a bit of a naturalistic setup for her where she can explore right around and do what she wants to do. <laughs> so I love these little pythons, they're so cool. She's already on the run. Let's hope we don't have any escapees, hey? Off you go, go on your hide. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I just love the colour on it, hey? It's so pretty. And she'll hang out in there for the rest of the day, I reckon. So it's been a few days now and I haven't messed with her at all. Like any new reptile I get in here, and you guys should probably do this as well. If you get a new reptile, for the first week or so, you want to really leave them alone, not really disturb them, just so they can settle in and get comfortable. Now it's been a few days, she's pretty settled, she's been cruising around a bit at night, because these guys are nocturnal, just like most snakes. Uh, we're going to actually give her a feed tonight. So she's feeding on hopper mice at the moment, so we'll thaw out one of those and see how she goes. that guys just took her first feed no worries I'm gonna grab her here just so she doesn't escape on us yeah what a good little snake hey now like I said it's been a long time since I've had a pet snake uh, looking back now it must be you know, 10 or 11 years or so when I last had my diamond pythons I used to have a group of diamond pythons in an outdoor aviary it was good fun but uh, I sort of moved more towards lizards for a long time as you can tell you know I've got a lot of lizards, but um, I've always loved snakes, they're beautiful animals, and uh, working with them recently over the last few years has kind of uh, sparked my interest in them a bit again. Uh, so I thought I'd start with something small and manageable, and you can't really beat a pygmy python for that, they're the smallest of them all. Um, and Antaresia themselves they just make great captives, they're really good snakes, really good beginner snakes too, you know, your children's, your spotteds, your stimpsons, even though they're technically children's now as well. Uh, all those species, they're really good snakes, they don't get too big, not too expensive to feed, and they don't take up too much room. So whilst I don't think I'm going to make a full-on dive back into snakes, it's definitely somewhere to start. 
and we'll see what happens from here. Now, like I said, I eventually want to make her a nice naturalistic display enclosure. And I think my plans are going to be once the rest of these young Boyd's forest dragons sell, I'm going to actually use this larger exoterra here, deck it out with some nice rock work in the back, and she can live in there. So this is a 60 by 60 by 45 exoterra. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think that's going to be too small for an adult pygmy. Uh, I'd love to know. Either way, I can just build another enclosure or get a bigger size. But yeah, that's my plan at the moment. Deck it right out, get some dried plants in there, some nice rock work and red sand, you know, nice natural environment and uh, just watch her kick around in there at night. It's going to be awesome. And recently, I've actually been improving my fake rock skills. You can see there's a little test piece there. And so I'm keen to deck out a whole enclosure with one. I'm going to make some awesome builds. I'm really excited. So there you have it guys, I got the world's smallest python and now that the little beauty's had a feed, my girlfriend's actually decided to name her Piggy. So this is Piggy the Pygmy Python and what a beautiful little snake. I'm keen to get her fully settled in and set up in her new enclosure when I can set it up. Can't wait to watch her cruise around in that natural environment. <laughs> what a cool little snake. I definitely miss keeping these guys. Their little faces, their little tongues. I'm so glad I started with something that's nice and chill like these guys. You know, when people come around, I can pull out a snake and show them something that's not going to bite. I'm not going to be a mean little thing. And uh, this is absolutely perfect. So I'm stoked. I hope you guys are excited to see a snake in the collection finally. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Australian reptiles. And me and Piggy, we'll see you next time.